In this video, I'll review some useful Linux commands for OpenFOAM users, regardless of their Linux expertise. Not that this is a brief overview of commonly used scripts, not a comprehensive guide to the Linux command line. First, let us open our terminal or Ubuntu WSL if you are using Windows. When the terminal opens, you'll see a tilde icon, which indicates you are in your user's home directory. Please note that this is not necessarily the home folder. This is just the location where you install your WSL if you are using Windows or your user folder if you are using macOS. First, you can type ls to list what is inside that directory. We can check the user folder on my MacBook by clicking the home icon. If you are using WSL, it's your root folder inside the penguin icon folder, or depending on your installation steps. Okay, the next command that you always use is cd or change directory. Let's say I want to open my documents local when I installed my OpenFOAM Docker. Just type cd doc and you can hit your tab button to suggest what to type next. Or double tap to see the other possibilities. Linux commands are case sensitive, so upper or lower case typing yields different results. Once you hit enter, you'll be in the documents local folder. Type ls to list its contents. Type cd double dot to return to your parent folder. Or you can type cd tilde to go back to your user's home directory. Okay, let's return to the documents local folder. Let's create a folder inside this home directory. We'll name it folder1. To make folder, type macdir folder1. MacDir stands for Mac Directory. To confirm it was created, type ls to list the contents. Next, let's clear the screen to remove clutter. Just type clear. The terminal screen is now cleared, or scrolled up. Let's create another folder named Folder2. Type MacDear Folder2, then type ls. Now we can see both Folder1 and Folder2 in this directory. If you want to view these folders in the File Explorer or Finder, you can open the Explorer manually as usual on your machine. Here's how you can visually see Folder 1 and Folder 2. Now, let's create a text file named doc1 inside the Folder 1. First, use cd Folder 1. Once you are inside the Folder 1, you can make the file by typing touch document1. Check this file by using ls. Let's try to edit this document on terminal by using nano. Type nano space doc1. Please note that not all installation supports nano editor, so don't worry if you cannot open nano. You can just skip this part. The terminal opens the nano text editor, then type some text in this editor.
To save your change, press Ctrl plus O, then hit enter. And then to exit, you can use Ctrl plus X. You can you can open this file in your text editor, such as text edit notepad or VS Code, directly from your folder if you prefer a GUI editor. Nano is perfect for quick edits like adjusting boundary conditions or time steps for open form cases. However, for lar larger files like block mesh dictionary, I recommend using a full feature text editor. Let's remove folder 2. To do this, go back to the parent folder of folder 2 using cd double dot. Type rm minus r folder 2 to remove folder 2. Use ls to confirm its deletion. Now let's copy folder 1 and its content to folder 2 by using cp minus r folder 1 folder 2. Then can we can verify it by using ls. And you can and you will see the folder 2 with document 1 inside it. Okay. Let's rename folder 2 to folder B, let's say. We can use mv folder 2 folder B. mv stands for move, which can move files or folder, which we can also use it for rename. Let's open doc1 directly inside the newly renamed folder, folder B, without navigating inside it. From outside the folder 2, which is documents local, type nano folder b slash doc1. You can edit this file directly, save and exit without needing to cd into your folder b.